producers need to constantly evaluate every aspect of their operation to help ensure they're profitable and sustainable. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brad Bulla is in East Tennessee to learn how one Angus operation is using careful research, planning, and data to reach their goals. McGinn Angus might not look unusual. They're putting up hay and caring for their cattle like any other producer in East Tennessee. But John McGinn founded this operation only a few years ago after a business career far from the farm. I got my first Angus cattle in 2018. Uh, I started out with commercial cattle initially. Uh, I bought this place, uh, I escaped Northern Virginia, living in a townhouse, uh, and I wanted uh, a little land. And when I got the land, my neighbor had some commercial cattle and it was kind of like, well, you know, I can either mow it or I can let them mow it. So I started with commercial cattle, um, found out quickly that there wasn't any way for me locally to make money with commercial cattle. John's career in finance and information technology included lots of experience with data analysis. So on the farm, he analyzed his market opportunities and quickly shifted to a purebred operation focused on creating exceptional Angus female genetics. There's always a market for elite cattle. And because I didn't have so many cattle, uh, it was like, well, why don't I do an evaluation and figure out what would be a, uh, you know, the ultimate cow? So I spent, a, you know, probably four or five months really evaluating EPDs, talking to some of the breeders. I had some really good mentors along the way to talk what they were doing, right, wrong, or indifferent, just to learn from. Uh, by nature, I ask a lot of questions, so I asked a whole lot of questions. And then I got on the whiteboard and I put together what I thought would be, you know, a great cow. Uh, genetically. In fact, John created his own algorithm to select the highest value traits, and he ended up producing what was, at the time, the number one Angus heifer in the nation. So, you know, I got either lucky or my, my algorithm really does work, but the balance was great because, you know, that, that first heifer had all of those traits, and she was number one in the breed for dollar C, dollar B, and dollar F when she came out with calving ease, with a big, I think her yearling weight was like a 198. Uh, so she was great across the board. Um, her structure was really good. And, you know, she performed. My genetics are for sale. I really am trying to uh, breed the best donors in the breed. Uh, I'd like my legacy to be that cattle for generations to come started with some of my offspring. As he's worked to build his cattle operation, John has kept his off-farm job. Even so, he remains sharply focused on bottom line results. I keep all of my inputs in QuickBooks. So, you know, I mean, I run all sorts of reports. Um, you know, I know what it takes me to keep a cow for a year. Um, I know right down to the penny what it costs me for embryos to make them. So, yeah, I mean, I really track all of my inputs obviously has a lot of knowledge so he's unique in that he can tell you down to the penny what he has in his his cattle i think he's very data driven tracking his costs his inputs and um, then the results at the end west hills tractor is where john turned when he bought the farm and needed machinery to get the land in shape and to begin cutting and baling his hay so when john first came around we obviously didn't know him he wanted to get into the cattle business and uh, needed a supplier for tractors and hay tools and other farm equipment but he was basically starting from scratch he, he bought some property didn't have any cattle didn't have any equipment um, so we sold him his first tractor and then we sold him some hay equipment after that and and developed a relationship i established a really good relationship with my local new holland dealership uh, Chad's my salesman, um, you know, uh, I know the owner, Tim, well, is, you know, so working with them and trying to really figure out th them understanding my need for speed because I, I have a day job and I need to be able to be efficient with my time. Uh, buying the right equipment, I'd rather buy, you know, more robust equipment that's going to help me do the job faster. The thing I, f I found out about John uh, right off the bat was it was more than just, uh, hey, I want, some, I want a hobby to do. He had a desire to do this, and, and he is, his thing is he wants to have good cattle. 
healthy cattle, and he wants to take care of the land, and he wants to leave it in better shape than, than where he got it, and he's done that. And so uh, we tried to, we began to talk about the equipment he's going to need. So I have a compact track loader. I have the, a, a T5 110 cabbed New Holland four-wheel drive tractor. I use a New Holland baler. Um, I use a New Holland uh, rake. Um, I use a disc mower conditioner that's a New Holland. I grind all my hay because I don't waste any that way. So I had to buy a hammer mill. I needed a mix wagon. So I, I bought a number of things and the dealer's been my partner all along the way as I bought all of the equipment. With the same skills he uses to analyze the genetic traits in his cattle, John also tracks data on the performance of his new Holland equipment. I look at the service life of it and I come out with an hourly rate of what does it cost me over the course of that machine's life to run it. So that's the base rate. Then if it uses fuel, I factor in, you know, what's the fuel consumption per hour for the piece of equipment. And then I look at the service interval and what's it cost to service that piece of equipment by the number of hours. And I come out with a blended hour rate of what every piece of equipment on the farm cost me. And I track it. As important as his machinery is to him, knowing he can count on good advice and reliable service from his new Holland dealer is critical for John as well. I just can't say enough about West Hills Tractor and the service that they provide, both in the repair shop, the parts, and even supplies. You know, hay season, they're crazy busy, but they've been out here in the middle of hay season where I broke a chain on the baler or, you know, needed a belt repaired. So in general, it's just the fact that, you know, I know they're a partner with me. Whatever I need, they're right there to help me. They're a phone call away, whether it's working hours or not. I just get great service from them. When you care about that person, you're going to want to make sure that they're getting the best bang for their buck and what they do. And that's what we try to build here at West Hills Track. Reporting from McGinn Angus in East Tennessee, I'm Brad Bulla for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now to learn more about how New Holland equipment can help your operation, just visit their website, newholland.com.